I knew even before I asked, Alan would request alphabet soup. Alan loves this soup. My boys have been eating it since they were very little. Super simple to make. I'm just adding about three tablespoons of oil. And then you can choose whatever pasta you have. We call it alphabet soup because we make it a lot with alphabet shaped pasta. But if you find whatever's fun, little stars, little letters, sometimes I will use angel hair pasta and crumble it into pieces. So I'm adding it in the pan. This is one huge difference between your typical pasta soup and Mexican style pasta soup. You know what we do? We fry the pasta first in just a little bit of oil, just a little bit, and it adds another layer of flavor. So you're transforming the pasta. Since the moment you're starting, you're toasting it. And I, I can smell it. It's starting to smell like toast. You can see how it's changing. Instead of going to a brown, it starts going to like a toasty white and then a little bit brown. The more you brown it, the deeper and stronger that toasty layer of flavor will be, but it is really delicious. And then I have super ripe tomatoes in here. And you wanna have, for this amount of pasta, which was like two cups, you want like one and a half. Look at the tomatoes. Look at the tomatoes. They're stunning. I can just see the juice coming out of them. It's the age. Get lost a little. I was saying you have like two cups of pasta. You want like one and a half pounds of tomatoes, which makes it like three of these tomatoes or four or five of the Roma tomatoes. If you're using those, everything goes in there. I'm adding one garlic clove, just one, that's all you need. And then I'm adding just a slice of onion. And then wait, you can see it's shiny and browning and beautiful. It's tasty already. Okay, so I'm pureeing these. Until completely smooth. You notice what I'm doing, you know, women like to multitask. I was having one hand in here and one hand in there. It makes us feel useful. Okay, so I'm pouring the tomato puree in here, right in there. The pot is hot, it has a little bit of oil. It's gonna splatter, it's gonna bubble, it's gonna smoke. Soup is perfect for a rainy day. It is so comforting. The tomato sauce in here is thickening, it's deepening its colors. You don't want to add anything else until this tomato puree goes from that raw, sort of shy red to this deep red that has a more fall-like color. That means it's gonna have more depth, more flavor, more tone, and you can see it. Add a little bit of salt. I'm adding a little bit of pepper. Okay, look at the color. That's what you want in there. So all of that flavor has gone in the pasta. And now it's ready for the broth. And I'm just adding chicken broth. You wanna make it vegetarian? Use veggie broth. I'm going to give it a good stir. In 15 minutes, this is gonna be the tastiest pasta soup. The soup is ready to eat, and so are my boys. You want soup? This is for Sammy. How's the soup? Mm. Hmm? Do you like that little shape I did today? Do you like it more with alphabet shape or star shape? Alphabet. It tastes the same. Alphabet. Alphabet? No, no, I couldn't no. find alphabet shape pasta soup. So this just looks like O's. These look like only O's. Exactly, we got O's today.